So Formula One fans, as you can see by the title of this video, what team should Mick Schumacher go to in the future for his Formula One career? I think I speak for a lot of fans uh, when I say that it's quite frustrating to see, uh, you know, making a Haas, not because we don't want to see him succeed. It's the complete opposite. It's frustrating because I think a lot of us, deservingly so, don't have much faith in Haas going forward, even despite the regulation changes and what Haas says they're supposedly, quote unquote, doing uh, for the 2022 season and, and their car for 2022. I don't have much faith in Haas that they're going to propel Mick that much further. No doubt Mick has shown, obviously, even in F2, that it takes him about a year to get used to a car in a series. And I think that is what has been uh, very good for Mick this year. And we've seen his pace in a couple of races. And that's what I mean by frustrating. Just imagine Mick in at least an average midfield car. I, I believe he would be having he would be finishing the points and i believe he would have a couple of points finishes at least by now even if it was only maybe a ninth and a tenth that still would speak volumes and i think when you compare other drivers as well i think a mick would be in a position where he was finishing in the points um you know above a yuki and you know maybe even other drivers like obviously kimmy on his way out antonio that seat is undecided at alfa romero and, and that's the whole point where does mick go because the top four teams it comes to Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren. I don't see Mick at for a while, especially Ferrari. I know a lot of fans for nostalgic purposes and other reasons want Mick at Ferrari, but you have to understand Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc is the best driver lineup on the grid as far as consistency is concerned. And I don't see Ferrari dropping either one of Carlos or Charles just to bring Mick in, you know, for fans sake and just kind of nostalgic purposes. I'm not saying he'll never be at Ferrari, but I would say at least for the next two to three years, without a shadow of a doubt, Charles is a you know assuring for Ferrari and so is Carlos Sainz I don't think you switch either one of those guys out unless one of them starts to really um you know drop in regards to their performance and their consistency and again I, I don't really see that happening with either Charles or um you know Carlos so the question is where else does he go the only other teams that we can look at and we have to base this kind of off of Partly, I think, this season um, in regards to what team looks to kind of be on an upward uh, trend towards next season. I think the Williams has, without a doubt, shown that they are probably going to be the better of the midfield teams that can actually be a little bit more competitive uh, than I would say the Alfa Romero, the Alpine, even the Aston Martin, which has been a huge disappointment this season. But you look at these other teams and where Mick could slot in at. Again, the second seat for Alfa Romero is not completely decided. We don't know if Antonio is on his way out. That is kind of the buzz around the Formula One world, but we're not sure. Um, Alpine with uh, Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon. I think Fernando is going to stay there for a while, help develop that car and get it to be competitive where he wants it to be. Uh, Esteban is, you know, he signed that contract recently, so he's clearly not going anywhere for a couple of years. Um, you look at Williams, Nicholas Latifi's bringing a lot of money still to that Williams team, so I don't see him leaving anytime soon. Alex Alban is obviously the newest signee, so I think Williams is pretty set. The only other teams realistically i think mick would be able to fit in that i would say 2022 going onwards would either be aston martin or alfa romero um aston martin would be interesting perhaps maybe something is happening that we're not aware of we know mick and sebastian vettel are extremely close maybe sebastian is not only just coaching mick and just being there kind of as a father figure to mick since sebastian was so close to michael and he respects michael so much maybe when sebastian vettel ends up retiring from formula one mick is going to step in and take his place and i think mick and an aston martin as long as aston martin gets it together i think that would be fantastic i think that would be awesome lance stroll obviously with his father is going to be on the team for a while he's not going anywhere so i think a mick schumacher and an ass and a uh, lance stroll i should say in an aston martin that driver duo combination, I think that would be pretty cool to see. And I think that would give Mick a much better car that he could compete in um, compared to obviously the top teams and the constructors that I just don't see him going to anytime soon. Ferrari is probably the only team uh, out of the top four in the constructors that I would see maybe having a chance. Alfa Tauri, maybe, I, I, you know, I, I don't, Pierre is another driver. I've done videos about him. I think he deserves a better car, but maybe he stays there a while. Yuki, I, I feel like Alpha Tari really want Yuki to succeed. So Yuki's kind of a wild card. Either they're going to keep him depending on his consistency, his pace and his results, or they're eventually going to release him if he doesn't do well after the 2022 season. Maybe Alpha Tari is an option for Mick. Um, Mick and Pierre, I think will be a pretty strong lineup too. So 
I would say out of the teams on the grid right now, um, and based off of what we've seen as far as performance this season and what we're hoping to see continue next year, and based off of what seats could potentially be open, like I said, AlphaTauri, Aston Martin, if Sebastian retires soon, but Sebastian, I feel like, could drive for another three to five years if that Aston Martin picks up some pace. It's very... It's very uh, muddy waters and kind of a gray area as far as where Mick's future is going to lie in Formula One as far as a team. I don't want him to stay in Haas beyond 2022. I just think that would kind of be a waste. This year has served great for him getting used to Formula One and really finding you know his, his racing craft, so to speak. Next year, I think that'll improve even better, and I expect Mick to have a points finish. But beyond 2022, I sincerely hope he is not in that Haas anymore, and I really hope he's in a better car that is higher up the ladder and where he has a chance to finish in the points on more than one race. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What team would Mick Schumacher be best suited for in the future of Formula One beyond the 2022 season, barring anything crazy happens? And uh, I'm very curious to see what you guys think would fit Mick uh, the best. So that is all that we will uh, discuss here today as far as Mick Schumacher. I may do more videos about him uh, as the season closes out if anything special happens and if obviously any news is revealed about maybe where Mick uh, may be trying to end up. But yeah, it's kind of undecided. I know some people are still kind of thinking maybe he'll actually go to that second seed in Alfa Romero and Haas will bring in another rookie. I guess that's possible. I'm not ruling it out, but it seems kind of like they're they're, they're sticking with Mick and Nikita going into next season. So we'll have to wait and see. But you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We shall take it from there. As always, appreciate your love and support. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already for daily and weekly Formula One content here on this channel. Unfortunately, that is all the time I have for you guys today, but I will see you all later. Go.